Published, 8.44 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 24th of June, 2018. Updated, 10.51 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 24th of June, 2018. Love Island Australia's Grant Crap finally dropped the L-bomb to his on-screen squeeze Taylor Damir after former Islander Cassidy McGill tried to steal the hunky electrician away in a recoupling ceremony last week. On Sunday night's episode, Grant, 22, professed his love for the beauty queen, 21, as the pair cuddled under a doona in the Mallorca boudoir. I wanted to leave it up as a surprise, but I can't hold it in, like I could have said it three days ago, Grant said. Scroll down for video I love you so much. Love Island's Grant Crap dropped the L-bomb to Taylor Damir during an emotional episode, after ongoing love triangle drama with Cassidy being with you right now, I love you so much, Grant declared, and it appeared the feeling was mutual, with Taylor gushing, I love you too. The following day Grant informed his fellow co-star, Josh, 25, about L-bomb exchange with Taylor, I told Taylor last night that I loved her, Grant revealed to Josh, I love you so much. On Sunday night's episode Grant, 22, professed his love for the beauty queen, 21, as the pair cuddled under a doona in the Mallorca boudoir Grant also told the sports administrator his heartfelt admission reduced Taylor to tears, she was crying and so happy man, he explained, I feel like I'm invincible right now. I feel like nothing can stop me. Dead set it's the best feeling in the world, Dancing Duna 2.0. On Sunday night's episode Grant, 22, professed his love for the beauty queen, 21, as the pair cuddled under a doona in the Mallorca boudoir later in the episode, Taylor reminisced about the amorous moment as she chatted to her fellow female islanders in the makeup room, he Grant said I've only said it once in my life I love you to someone. He said so for me to say this to you is so special, Taylor recalled. Grant and Taylor weren't the only couple to put on a loved up display in the Spanish digs on Sunday evening. Earlier in the episode, Josh initiated his first pash with on-screen squeeze, Amelia, 22, almost five weeks into their Mallorca sojourn, I love you exchange, Taylor reminisced about the amorous moment as she chatted to her fellow female islanders in the makeup room first kiss. Earlier in the episode, Josh initiated his first pash with on-screen squeeze, Amelia, 22, almost five weeks into their Mallorca sojourn after a romantic evening dip, Josh and Amelia enjoyed their very first kiss in the villa, it was literally like one of those moments out of a movie, Josh revealed to a fellow islander, that was the longest kiss I've seen in my life. Erin said in jest as she watched the lengthy smooch. Former love triangle, Cassidy showed off her ruthless side on Monday, when she tried to steal former partner Grant away from Taylor comes after a dramatic few weeks that involved a love triangle between Taylor, Grant and recent evictee, Cassidy. The 23-year-old showed off her ruthless side on Monday, when she tried to steal former love interest Grant away from Taylor, Cassidy was booted from Love Island Australia last Thursday night, as newcomer Mac was kept safe, sent packing. Cassidy was given the boot from the Love Island villa on Thursday last week and very sad to be leaving Love Island. I've made friends for life in that place. It's very emotional, Cassidy said in between tears as she left the villa. She continued, I didn't think saying goodbye to Aaron, Barnett, would be that hard but it absolutely killed me in there, but unfortunately I didn't make the romantic connection that I wanted, amid the blossoming romances, Françoise, 28, was sent packing on Sunday night's episode after she failed to make a romantic connection with the male islanders. Farewell Françoise, in an emotional recoupling ceremony Dom, 26, picked 22-year-old blonde bombshell Mac, leaving the brunette beauty without a partner in an emotional recoupling ceremony Dom, 26, picked 22-year-old blonde bombshell Mac, leaving the brunette beauty without a partner, my heart's just a little bit broken right now, Françoise revealed after her dumping. Speaking exclusively with Daily Mail Australia on Sunday evening the Melbourne marketing executive revealed she was blindsided by her eviction, there was a point at which I knew I was going home. I should have been playing the game, she lamented. Blindsided. Speaking exclusively with Daily Mail Australia on Sunday evening the Melbourne marketing executive revealed she was blindsided by her eviction.